Hi, and welcome to another Sealed in Time production, where we bring historical photos to life. Please consider leaving a like and a comment, letting us know which photo is your favorite. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified whenever a new video is posted. Thanks for watching, and as always, enjoy the show. Two young women leisurely embark on an early afternoon buggy ride amidst the summer of 1910 in Greenwich, Massachusetts. A resident of the 1940 Dubuque, Iowa landfill noticed several bags of apples and is now diligently collecting as many as possible. In July 1901, the city of Toulouse, France, is divided by the Garonne River, with numerous residents crossing the bridge on a warm summer's day. A woman strikes a pose alongside Buzzer, one of the photographer's four cats, in this vintage photo from the early 1900s. Two women embarked on a journey to visit a family member, navigating their path through rural roads. Along the way, they chose to pause for a picnic at the Snellgrove Crossroads on May 24, 1921. A group of women attending a convention in town have assembled in the lounge for an afternoon tea session in April 1939. The traveling photographer of 1899 captures two generations of the family who constructed this cottage nearly a century and a half ago, striking a pose. Pamela Hensley, an American actress and author, is recognized for her memorable performances. Among her notable roles are Princess Ardala in the television series, Buck Rogers in the 25th century, and C.J. Parsons in Matt Houston. Lucette de Moulin, a French model and actress of the 1920s, had a brief yet captivating career. In 1903, President Theodore Roosevelt opted to traverse Yellowstone National Park on horseback during his visit. Two baseball players from Mountain Park are pictured alongside a visiting friend in a field located at 1920 Mountain Park, Alberta, Canada. A group of young men from the Stang and Yerd farms were enlisted to transport sand and cement to the dams being built in Stongfjorden, Norway, in 1910. Patsy Kelly, an esteemed American actress, gained recognition for portraying the bold, quick-witted companion to Thelma Todd in a collection of comedic short films crafted by Hal Roach during the 1930s, and both are seen here. The water cart in the village of Chihuahua, Mexico, in 1887, patiently waits for its driver, who has stepped into a nearby residence to inquire if anyone requires water delivery. In 1947, New York City, Ella Fitzgerald experienced sheer delight when Billie Holiday made a surprise appearance for a performance at the Bop City nightclub. Blanche Satchel, an Australian dancer and model, graced the stages of the Ziegfeld Follies and Earl Carroll's Vanities 
and held the title of Miss Australia at one point in her career. On June 29, 1935, the SS Majestic navigates its way along the Hudson River, gliding past the Lower Manhattan neighborhood as captured in this aerial perspective. On a balmy summer afternoon, guests flock to the 1905 Hippodrome within Euclid Beach Park, nestled in Cleveland, Ohio, seeking a little respite. In 1905, a photograph captures the bypass on the Mount Tom Railway in Massachusetts. This cable-operated railroad, finished in 1897, boasted cars constructed in Springfield, Massachusetts, capable of accommodating 80 passengers. The Stooksbury family, residing close to Andersonville, Tennessee, is depicted in this image engaged in the process of boiling down sorghum in October 1933. A young woman, adorned in her freshly acquired pleated white dress, poses for a studio portrait within the confines of a photographer's studio in Christchurch. Two youthful women bask in the warmth of a summer's day as they lounge by the water's edge in Paris, France during the 1950s. A young lady from the early 20th century visited a photographer's studio to have a special photograph taken for a keepsake charm. A laborer operates the Alice Chalmers tractor, towing the manure spreader across the fields of the 1939 Kimberly Farm located in Jasper County, Iowa. At the crack of dawn, a band of 1920s hunters set out, quietly drifting near the shore in their dinghy, hoping to seize the chance to bag a prized deer. On June the 29th, 1956, along Blackstone Street, in the heart of historic Boston, the Haymarket stood proud as the city's oldest outdoor market. Here, amid its bustling lanes, one could find the finest deals on fresh produce, fish, and flowers. In 1951, amidst a bustling intersection in Detroit, a diligent traffic officer adeptly managed the flow of vehicles despite the malfunctioning streetlights. While journeying through Lovett, Alberta, Canada, in 1916, a wandering photographer stumbled upon a welcoming family eager to sit for a portrait. 